Hello everyone, my name is Patricia Devlin and I'm a Curriculum Officer at NCFE. This webinar will provide you with the adaptations for our Level 1 and Level 2 VCERT Technical Award qualifications for the academic year of 2021 to 2022. The plan for this webinar is to first give you an update on the COVID-19 response, I will then provide a summary of the external assessment adaptations and then I'll go through the internal assessment adaptations. The government's intentions is that work placements, exams and assessments will take place in the academic year 2021 to 2022. Therefore, moving away from results being based on teacher assessed grades um, used in the previous academic year when this was permitted. The government recognised, however, that learners who will be taking exams and assessments have experienced significant disruption to their education and that these learners may also need continued support in the face of any further disruption. We recognise that learners who will be taking exams and assessments in 2021 to 2022 have experienced disruption to their education since March 2020 and we remain committed in continuing to support learners in the face of any further disruption. In the academic year of 2021 to 2022, under the Vocational and Technical Qualification Contingency Regulatory Framework, or VCRF, all qualifications will move into Category A. This means all assessments are expected to continue, but we are permitted to continue to make adaptations to assessments and qualifications to take account of the ongoing impact of the pandemic, where we, where we can do so without undermining the validity and reliability of our qualifications. This is with the view assessments will take place but recognising that adaptations may still be needed to mitigate continued disruption from public health restrictions or to support with mitigating the issues with learning loss or any further disruption. Category B will be switched off from the 1st of September 2021, meaning this will not apply to any qualifications in this next academic session, but the provision will remain in place for anyone submitting later tags for their eligible learners who are expected to complete in the summer or complete assessments last session within the eligibility window up until the 31st of August 2021. So it recognises that some teacher assessed grades may be submitted late and makes provision to support this. Furthermore, if teacher assessed grades have been submitted for mid-flight learners, they will now be banked. Learners must only access permitted adaptations if they are needed to mitigate the impact of learning loss continued disruption and or ongoing public health restrictions. This will be monitored through our external quality assurance process to support the validation of any adaptations adopted. The quality assurance policy has been updated for 2021 to 22 and is available on our website. The adaptation blueprint for 21 to 22 can be found on our website summarises the adaptations we have put in place for the 2020 to 2021 academic sessions and how we are adapting NCFE assessment requirements given the flexibilities afforded by Ofqual and VCRF. The qualifications addendums contain further information on what specific adaptations are permitted for the academic year of 2021 to 2022 and are now available to access and view on your qualification specification page. Firstly, I'll talk you through the adaptations for the external assessments. The Level 1 and the Level 2 Technical Award qualifications have an external assessment that must be sat over a set period of time at your centre. As already mentioned, external assessments will go ahead in the academic year 2021 to 2022, unless public health measures deteriorate, in which case this will be reviewed by the government. Previously, when assessments were timetabled for a set date and time, we updated our assessment variation, variation process to allow centres to use additional test centre locations. Where possible, we have now also implemented further adaptations we have added additional assessment opportunities or extended assessment windows. Assessment opportunities where learners have received results based on teacher assessed grades and the centre assessed grades 
do not count towards these retake opportunities. For further information on additional assessment opportunities or extended assessment windows, please see our updated external assessment timetable guide on QualHub. Now I'll talk you through the adaptations for the internal assessments. So the, the following information is applicable to graphic design, interactive media and music technology. All content must be delivered and all assessment criteria assessed. Internal assessments can be undertaken remotely for learners where required and where possible. We will also continue to offer remote EQA reviews Further guidance on how to prepare for this can be found in preparing for a remote review on QualHub. We believe that the flexibilities that centres already have with the respect to the types of evidence they may use to meet knowledge and skills based assessment criteria are sufficient to enable most learners to continue to mitigate the ongoing COVID related risks. This includes the continuation of the use of alternative assessment methods or evidence where needed or required. You can find further advice and guidance on the preparation of portfolio of evidence on our website in the NCFE Guide to Designing and Creating Learner Portfolios of Evidence for Assessment. To support with learning loss, remote learning where required or where centres may experience continued or localised disruption to learning, we've created guidance to support a more streamlined approach to assessment and increased flexibility. We have updated our guidance on our website in the Good Practice Guide and continue to permit the use of centre devised assessments. We appreciate that to create and to capture evidence for the skills aspects of these assessments, learners may need, to access, may need, may need access to specialist facilities and equipment. As our existing guidance permits, to mitigate COVID related challenges and ass ass assessing accessing facilities equipment, we would encourage centres to consider, for example, using expert witness testimonies to confirm the observation of student confidence over time where direct observation is not possible, using observation of simulated activities to evidence the demonstration of confidence where direct observation is not possible, and carefully consider how to schedule teaching, learning and assessment activities during the year recognising that it may not be possible to access specialist facilities and equipment in all weeks. Use of remote technology is prohibited within early years, schools, childcare and health and social care settings, where there is a potential risk of use of the service or their carers and families being inadvertently seen or heard. This includes the use of all recording and streaming devices such as iPad, mobile phones, laptops and tablets. Please note that technology must not be used to view assessments remotely, even when not recording. For example, assessors cannot complete remote observations to prove competency by viewing learners live using remote technology. The use of remote technologies could be considered to support aspects of the student's performance. For example, this may include planning sessions, online meetings and remote activities in which the student is contributing and where the assessor could, could also attend remotely or observe through the use of technology. In these examples, the students must be in an environment away from any service users. The use of technologies could also be considered for capturing expert witness testimonies. We would also encourage centres to consider how they might use an alternative and or digital solutions to gather and store evidence, including, for example, send a set short response on multiple choice tests, professional discussion recordings, annotated learning plans, photos and videos. And we partnered up with VEO, Video Enhanced Observations, who offer a digital solution. VEO is a secure video online platform for recording and tagging videos. It offers a more efficient way to mark NCFE skills assessments, which can be undertaken remotely. VEO empowers learners and teachers by providing simple and secure way to capture observation-based assessments that saves time while preparing learners to pass skills-based assessments. The platform allows you to digitally record and mark practical assessments online and remotely. For music technology, there have been some further assessment adaptations for level one and level two, units three, 
studio recording, including learning outcome one, two, and three. For further information, please see the adaptation addendum 2021 to 22 on the qualification specification page in QualHub. If you have any further questions, you can contact our customer support team who will be able to provide further help and support. If you require further information and support, please also see our approach to awarding page. Also, please do take a look at the external assessment timetable and adaptation document on your QualHub subject page. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you found this webinar useful. From everyone here at NCFE, we wish you a safe and successful year. Thank you.